Buenos dias, mi familia, and welcome to Mars Day. Woke up chilling. I have been seeing the numbers two, three, and four. Whether that be 432, 423, 342, those numbers are adding up. True. Welcome to Heaven on Earth. My name is Connie, and I'm the one to tell you how it truly is. Now, uh, the Divine Mother, Ascended Master, Spirit Team, my crew, I just want to give thanks and praise to you. I am truly honored to be the vessel to speak for the Lord God, which is thy Divine Mother, the Goddess, the Creatrix of all. Thank you for such a blessing. Believe me, sweetie, I got enough to feed the needy. <laughs> I was listening to Big Papa. And as I was contemplating, thinking about, you know, what to talk today, what to be expressed, what should we know, what should we do? I got to thinking about Tupac, Biggie Smalls, Sean Diddy, Diddler, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Adele, all these creative people. But specifically, Big Papa. Big Papa's coming through. Believe me, sweetie, I got enough to feed the needy. He's coming through very loud, very clear, very big bear, big teddy bear. Just, <clears throat> and I feel like there's something in my throat. <clears> throat> If you're coming through, Big Papa, come through. But be nice and sweet and gentle. <clears throat> so, he's showing me how... <laughs> he's such a big, fluffy energy. It's so sweet very kind his eyes his touch his his gaze hmm. there's just it makes me want to cry he's very very kind very sweet When I, when I come across people like that and that energy, it's because they've gone through so much, so much trauma. And they don't want to live there. They don't want to be that traumatic guy that responds to people harshly because of what has happened to them. No, on the contrary. It's rising above it. It's trying to be better for, for your crew, for your family, for your life, for your sanity, I hear. Peace of mind. Just to chill, relax, be at peace, you know? I don't know, Big Papa. He, it, it feels like... Like tapping into the other energy of what we talked about yesterday on, on someone imitating your work, imitations, counterfeits. These are people who imitate other people. Okay. They're copying the real stars. But what happens is that these people, they get so fucking jealous that they will take matters into their own hands and do something treacherous like take them out order a hit and take them out and he's saying that's why they're on top because he they they he they took out so many good creative artists that flow from their trauma to make something better or 
And I should say, and as we do that, we realize that we heal ourselves in recognizing the verses and the rhymes of the rhythms of what we just spit and said because we realizing that when we said it, we were like, whoa, wait, wait, is that really how it goes? And in that moment of realizing and hearing it and saying it, it's confirmation that, wow, you just healed yourself on a level you didn't even realize was even possible. When you spit those rhymes... And it doesn't have to rhyme. It's speaking your life. But knowing that you don't got to be hard or a hard shell or hard crust or burnt. A burnt souffle. You just got to tell people to get out of your way. Or maybe it's you. Get out of your own way. I don't know why you're showing me a souffle. <laughs> Is that your favorite or what? <laughs> oh, you be the guy that orders that 45 minutes of play. Yay. <laughs> okay. I I hear you. I see you. I hear you. I feel you. I feel you. He's laughing. Um but he's telling me for y'all not to give up. Don't give up because what you're going to say, what you're going to do, you're going to heal people on a whole other level. Whether your words, your art, your creative endeavors, keep going. Don't give up. We need you guys there. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He, he likes to do that like that elbow. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. All right. He said, throw down, player. Let's go. What you got? What do we need to know, Big Papa? Well, I love it when you come in, Big Papa. Throw your hands in the air if you're a true player. That the reason that these people stay on top is because they be taking everybody out. Like, that's not true competition, yo. You out-battle them. You out-wit them. You, out, you outdo their work, not come and try and kill them. What the fuck? It's like a game. It's like in basketball. If they lose, they don't come out with their guns and shoot at all the players. The fuck? Why does rap have to be different? It's a game. It's a sport. I thought you could hang, yo. Mm. The alchemist, get creative, reflect, and release. <sighs> I'm guessing some of you don't realize how your creativity is the alchemy that's needed. I'm guessing y'all don't know that because it's in the reverse. You don't realize that your art is the creative power to heal yourself. That is the actual alchemy of transmutation, of transmuting that negative energy, that negative thought, that negative action, that negative whatever. You go get all that angry juice. Hmm? Go get all that angry juice. Write it in your book. Put it on the canvas. Use it in your sewing. Whatever the case might be, because that is the actual blooming from heartache. That is how you get your wings. That is how you realize and reflect that that painting, that poem, that song that you just wrote is to help you reflect on it, to see the truth. That's why we tell you to journal. That's why we tell you to recollect your thoughts, write down your feelings, really express yourself. Because sometimes the anger isn't the only one that's there. The anger is the one that shows itself. But what is the root of the issue? Is it shame? Is it guilt? Is it sadness? Is it depression? Is it anxiety? 
Can you put it in other words? And then this is how, I love it how it's the froggy. It's froggy! And this is how we release it. And we let it go. And we realize that we're not there no more. We're not that ugly person we used to be and saying hurtful, meanful things because we were hurt inside. Because we didn't know how to express ourselves politely, gently, creatively in speaking. We just regurgitated the ah, 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 ah. you know, like, no, dude, no. And in this time, is this the real life or is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes and explore your heart. Can't you see? This is the compass of your willpower. Will you go? Will you stay? Or will you go? Hit me where the wind blows. Nothing really matters to me. To me. This shit's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Mama, I'm gonna reclaim my power. I'm gonna jump in my creative side, speak those words I have inside. So, Mama, I'm coming home. Mwah. This shit's gonna make me cry. <laughs> We don't want you to be rich with drawn with Drew with John with John. Are you a drawing with a John? In your long Johns? Is your name the letter J? Cause that's what coming through. Hey. Life has just begun. Oh, that was beautiful. The explorer was in the reverse. So you need to really tap in and explore into your heart space, into your third eye. Because from the heart to your third eye, apparently they're talking about your throat. What you're speaking, yo, are you speaking lies about ill people? Are they ill or are you ill? Can you reflect on the mirror of who you are? Well, can you? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so this is all coming down to boundaries. Some people need to have boundaries. You need to reclaim your power. Explore, surrender, reclaim as you speak that truth to connect to your heart. Listen to your heart when it's calling to you. Listen to your heart. Okay. We have four on the top and five at the bottom. So 45, yeah, four and five. 45 is a death. Something about yourself needs to die. How are you communicating? How are you expressing yourself to certain people, certain places, certain things? You know, are you lying about people? Rule number one, when you're walking this path of spirituality, lying is your worst enemy worse because you're supposed to be speaking to the truth speak truth truthfully as some people are not speaking truthfully i don't know where i'm going but i don't know why but listen to your heart because it will tear your ass up <laughs> You better believe it. It's crazy. Okay. These are my ancestor cards. So we're taking it to the past. And these are my ancestors from the past showing you the past in order to get moving into the present. So we need to reflect, right? Let's go to the past. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to do? 
What do we need to know? What do we need to do? Do. Growth, number 52. I did see 5225, so that's confirmation. Growth. You are healing your wounds and no longer does it break you. Congratulations, family. You are growing. You're growing. People are seeing it. And how do you grow if for some reason or another you're not feeling you feel stuck or you're not growing? You need to stick your nose into your own business. Stick out stick your nose out of other people's businesses because opinions of what they think about you is none of your business. That's another rule. Whatever they think about you, don't get involved, don't ask, don't don't ask, don't tell. Because all you're going to do is hurt somebody and hurt yourself. And it's not, it's not worth it. It's none of your business. Number 48, make your own life, make your own recovery. And this looks like fruits, healing, try some new food, fuel, full, full, full. <laughs> wow. So somebody with the letter F, someone's F, F word name. Okay, so I hear, I hear you. Someone's trying to tell me off, but I'm not letting them come through. They want to fight you, but they want you to come out and show fighting mood, fighting mode. No. Are you done? So your name could be the letter F or you're a, a lot of efferies and you're effing around to find out. Stop doing that. Change your food, change your diet. That could be the first step too. That could be step number two. Step number one. Stick your nose into your own business. Stop fucking sticking your nose into other people's business. It doesn't belong there. Number three, change your food. Water sign, change your food. Earth sign, change your food. Put in the work to talk to the Lord God because the maker's here. Who's your maker? Who made you? Mm, this could be your mother. We did say connect your heart, and I did say, Mama, I'm coming home. <laughs> Listen to your heart. Okay. Yeah, because look, we have <laughs> fast food in the back. Fast food for what you don't see coming, but it's in the reverse. This feels like your taste buds are going bye bye. Is uh, food not tasting good like it used to anymore? Has the taste gone out? And they're showing me a whole mess of tongues. Tongues. Eh, lengua. Uh -huh. Wow, that's another voodoo. That's another voodoo. What am I trying to say? Spirits. Dad. Jinxes, curses, or spells, or hexes when you eat a cow's tongue because the cow is sacred. There's something about, and you can look into Unsolved Mysteries, and they did an episode where they talk about how these cows were mutilated. This demon, demonic possession comes in and mutilates the cow and eats the lips, the tongue, and the sexual organs. Now, this is a whole left turn, but apparently Divine Mother needs to talk about this. Okay? Fried food, quick and nimble. You're feeling small on an issue, a hard truth. If it's in the reverse, that means you've digested a hard truth about yourself. Remember that we're facing the shadow. A hard truth about yourself. Maybe they called you a little shrimp. Maybe they called you less than worthy. Nothing. Little. Look at a shrimp. Isn't the shrimp the cockroach of the ocean? Hey, cockroach. Right? This could be a, a military person. El soldado. This could be stress. Does not know when to quit. Mm. I see. Looking for approval from a father figure. Instead of learning to expand. You're still hoping, wishing, praying that daddy's going to come and tell you something? Come on, dude. It, let it go. Let it go. Top. Okay. Top.
Thank you. Okay. What you don't know about the exploration of diving into your heart is that life can be sweet. And you balancing out your masculine and your feminine. This is your moon and your sun placements in your natal chart. It can be very sweet. La sandia and compliments, complimentary, the man and the woman. It can be very sweet. However, some of you may not be opening up and telling the truth about what really happened. It says, tell them your story through the darkness and how you overcame. Look, fruit, a watermelon and a melon. Cara de melon. Es que tienes un mojón. <laughs> un mojón. I think that's how you say it. It is un jamón. Ah, see, yeah, it's, it's, maybe this is something about your weight. Mm. So somebody, somebody messed with your intuition talking about your weight. I hear bubble butt. I hear love handles, like grabby grabs. I guess that's what they're projecting. Uh, this is what they don't want to talk about. Sweetheart, take the steps. Try. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this here. Oh, no. Here. Okay. And then surrender. What you already know is that death is around you. The death of the self. Either. So this is this. so annoying i know it's annoying this is where your old self dies or you're going to die it's very clear it's very easy stop being a shit little shithead and have respect for others for some reason or other maybe I feel like this person is very narcissistic in the needs of, well, you tell me first. That's not how that works. If you really feel truly sorry for whatever you've done or said or did or whatever, you do it out of the out of you trying to heal your own heart. Not because it's an agenda or it's a condition or, well, if I tell you I'm sorry, are you going to be my friend again? Like, no. Like, the person, you have to give them the chance to decide whether if that's the case or not. Or if this is an ex trying to come back in your good graces and trying to reco reconnect, rekindle whatever was happened or whatever happened in the past. You know, but you, this old self of you has got to die. This has got to change. If not, forget about it. If you don't surrender to the change that needs to occur within you, you're going to get sick. You're going to, certain things are going to happen to you. I, 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 I don't place the judgment on that. That's divine mother. And when she comes through, she comes through as the death card. La muerte. La santa muerte. So, con mucho cuidado, I'm giving you a heads up. You're afraid to take this leap of faith. The truth is that you're afraid to take this leap of faith when that's the wisdom. That's where the luck is, 54. That's in the dark side of love. Of you loving yourself because it's always easier for someone else to love you than for you to actually be like you know what I don't deserve this I don't I don't deserve to be treated this way or talk this way I don't deserve that because a person who loves themselves don't let anybody talk to them in such a manner and when that does occur that they keep talking to you and they don't respect your boundaries and they withdraw from you and they only come to you and talk to you whenever the fuck they want or whenever they're sad or whatever that's how that's a clue that's your sign that's a clue that get the clue get a clue that's your sign ring a ling a ling bing 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 ding 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 you got to connect to your heart and be like i'm i'm worth more than that i deserve more because i give more this is where you will start to thrive as you reflect upon yourself. Stop waiting for others to do it. Look, and the card falls right on the soldier. Look at that. Moon magic. 
me see. The bottom of the deck. Yeah. Cut the stress hormone and get happy. Fruit. Once again, there's a pear. Maybe your name is La Perla. Perla. Something with a P. P, P, P in your dignity. T, T, T. Um, I'm going to take it to tarot. I want to use my little animal cards. My little animal cards. Oh, yeah. So, uh, that tongue thing is so gross. I had a, I don't know if it was a dream. I think it was a, yeah, it was a dream. So, you remember how I told you how they were throwing sexual projections at you? So, I'm going to save this deck. Something about a king of pentacles in the reverse. Um, they were throwing sexual projections at you. Well, check this out. Like, and they were like flashing their genitals in my dream. And in my dream, they, when they flash their genitals, like instead of their junk falling out, like the penne, it was a big fat tongue. It would fall like from their robes. It was weird. I was like, what the fuck? And then, like, I went and I saw another one. I was like, ew, ew, ew. Like, all of their tongues were just falling out. So, I don't know if this is, uh, what, Divine Mother, what are you trying to say with these tongues? Like, what the fuck is that? What was that? So, someone's speaking ill will. They're going to lose their tongue. They're going to lose their taste buds. They're going to lose the most beautiful thing of all, to taste. See, like I told you, like they're gonna start messing with the five senses. The sight, to hear, to taste, to smell. Mmm. This is this is the glory that it is to be in a human body. Why the tongues? Did my mother show me the tongues? There we go. And it fell right upon the open up of your intuition on reclaiming your intuition. My luck. This was a witch attack from a cult. This witch is an occult, an occultist. A coming for your luck. Seven, five, eight. This was a form of manipulation. Her attack was at the dream state. It was to keep you muted, not talking, not conversating, not telling anybody. This was supposed to turn your luck. And then we have luck. So we have luck twice. Luck and luck. Seven. So that was on the truth card. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So they could be pairing up with like ex-lovers. And I just heard that song 80 song is that bizarre triangle someone's in a triangle a threesome a throuple so this could be a life path seven life path five and a life path eight what that means is add up your birthday numbers to give you a single digit. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the deck, you need to pay attention to this. Pay attention that they're sending you spells of a death date, right? Because, yeah, this person doesn't want to grow up. I want to be a Toys R Us kid and fight and blame and eh, mm, eh. So this person doesn't want to grow up. They don't want, they want to still be this little shithead. Being disrespectful to everybody and then like naming it. Oh, it's because of my ADHD. Oh, it's because I'm neurodivergent. Oh, it's because I'm bipolar. Oh, because of this or oh, because I'm a Scorpio. Like some stupid shit like that. Like that is tacky and pathetic. And if somebody's throwing you those reasons or excuses, get far away from this person. End the relationship. Don't even tell them why. Just boom. Be gone. Just like when death happens. Sometimes death doesn't even give you a warning. You just die. Mm -hmm. Falling upon this eight. We've got seven and six. Oh, see, because you have money on the way that's coming your way. Once again. Oh. 
my luck. Seven six, that's from the sun. Thank you, Lord Sanada. He's bringing it in. This person was trying to do a sneak attack to push you away or to make like, look, this is like eight, seven, six. It's counting down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Man, yeah, there was these lost souls, lost lovers or people who wanted to be your lover trying to take this from you. They were trying to come into some type of spiritual warfare or investigations. This detective trying to collect data on you by sending you spells of like gnats or like disgusting demons that come through like like from clutter or, or dirty laundry, dirty clothes. Just, just dirty because that's how they are. They're dirty people. And when I mean dirty, I mean like their house, their hygiene, their bad breath, like just disgusting they reek they stink because they have they have death around them mm -hmm. so if this is not you and you're feeling kind of scary or kind of blue wash your clothes wash your house sweep clean sage make sure you don't have no clutter piles or whatever like some gross shit make sure you brush your teeth and brush your tongue I'm, I don't know why I have to be saying this. This is, I don't know. This is weird. Lost lovers, put it over here. Thank you. Weird. Should we use this deck? And I just heard no. Not this deck. Okay. Okay. And I'm seeing the one. This one in, in my mind's eye. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. In, in order for you to be the alchemist and alchemize your energy of sticking your nose in your own business, what do they got to do? Um, well, they're showing me what is the explorer in the reverse, two of wands in the reverse, King of Pentacles in the reverse, and Page of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm sorry, King of Pentacles is upright. So this Page of Pentacles, this greedy-ass, immature person, convinced this King of Pentacles to go against you, to go against you, and he is now pinned in the middle of it. Pinned in the middle of it. Look at Pentacle. Pentacle globe to travel the world with you. So this person's trying to block this, trying to block this adventurous, um, I don't know, deal from happening, or they wanted to take this from you. Because if you look, how look at how look at this. Look at how the clothes are the complete reverse. Orange shirt, black pants, orange pants, black shirt. This person is imitating you big time. Big time. But I can t I can tell I can tell you right now that maturity is the thing. Maturity is the thing. Oh yeah. Because we've got judgment on the field. Oh, they are being criticized and judged. They are seeing the difference from between you and them. And how they are trying to copy, um, imitate you. But they're starting to pick up on the energy. On specifically, like, the words that linger. Like, whatever you said has this guy thinking, contemplating in his head. Whatever you have spit and said, maybe when, maybe when you talk and you spit on him and he caught the fact that you did it on purpose to see, because I feel like boundaries and he got grossed out, but he didn't say anything. So now he's like, oh God, no, 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 no. He's realizing that hygiene should be first and foremost, number one. 
I don't know why I have to be saying this, but he, he's like, wait, why did I? No, no. He, I guess he had a typical stereotypical of what a psychic, a medium, um, whatever your creative, creative field is, an author, uh, an artist, a DJ, a um, musician, whatever. And they have an idea of what it should look like. And I don't know, I feel like it was like hippie and gross and just because of your odd oddities, odd. No, it was a clutch. This person used it and they're under judgment. They're under judgment for trying to take something away from somebody. Mm, 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 mm. This is somebody that you know. Somebody that you've known. Maybe the past six years. Six months, six weeks. There's a six. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. It's two of pentacles and 20. I keep seeing that number, zero, two, 20. <laughs> Woof. Woof. This was the, the trade-off. This was the tax bracket. Tax, tax. Like they taxed it off of you. That's so weird. Okay. The reflect and release. What do we need to know? Oh, they don't want to talk about that. They want to talk about this two of pentacles and judgment. Okay. Mm. Am I doing it right? Yes. Okay. So, this person was supposed to dive into themselves and realize their shadow and realize and reflect on why people said certain things about them so that they can realize that they were acting like in such a way. And I'm seeing two, three R's. Reclaim, release, and reflect. So, this person could start with the letter R. You were supposed to stay in solidarity and be single and alone. But this is something, this is codependency. Codependency. This is something you cannot break. This is what you need to break. This is what you need to do. Stop getting into throuple. Stop using other people to fill up the void. Stop using sex to make yourself feel better about yourself. Ooh, because here it's in the heart. Because maybe your fucking vagina is in your heart space. Maybe your heart is in your vagina. Because we have the hermit in the reverse, the three of cups in the reverse, and the three of swords in the reverse. 33, Christ consciousness. You are trying to use other people to make yourself feel better about yourself, but it's not working. Who you're missing and who you love is yourself. Me, myself, and I. But this, that's why the judgment is here. You're using other people to fill, fill the void, fill your cup. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh! This is why you can't tap into your intuition. With so much energy, what? I just heard from so much drama from the LBC. It's kind of hard being Snoopy, O dub, O G, but uh, somehow, some way, keep frogging up funky hits with every single day. Ah, me, take a little something from the G, he, you, <laughs> your intuition is not correct. And you keep diving into this incorrect situation you your intuition is off it's inverted you're in an inverted state you're in the hangman position god is hanging you up in suspension you're suspended your gifts have been suspended whoa For diving in, what am I trying to say? The full in reverse.
for not going on that journey, on that new journey of letting the old self die. You you still hold on to this old pattern, this old way, this old way of doing things, of saying, of being. And this is why your vitality, your energy is in the reverse. Your solar plexus, your compass on where to go and what to do. The reason you feel like this is because the truth needs to come through. And what is the truth? There's, there's, there's a truth that's being held back. Somebody doesn't want to say anything even though they know. And this is why you're being tormented from yourself. Who is going to torment you first and foremost? Your shadow. Your feminine side. Your feminine side is your divine mother. Who looks you dead in the eyes. And is like, you're going to lie to me? Which is you. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Divine Mother is within you. Around you. And the projection of out. That is the Eternal Father. The All Father. Within you is the Divine Mother. So she's like, oh, no, 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 no. Before we can uh, claim anything on the outside. We got to fix this, 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 and this, and this, and this. That's broken in the house. So metaphorically, this is why I say, clean your house. Because some of you need to see it. Right? What type of learner are you? What type of way do you learn? Hands on? Or do you got to read it in a book? Which way is it? This is why she's got you in a trap. Like a rat. Mm, mm, mm. Eight of swords. And the only reason it's eight of swords is because you are mentally torturing other people and so now she's like oh guess what now it's your turn see how it faces on her now mm. now it's your turn let's see how you do with the fucking creepy scaries that you sent to somebody else and it doesn't necessarily have to be the mentors or demons this could be loops of words repeating around in your head. What you said, yo? What did you say? Eh? How did you say it? Eh? So something about this, I got a really weird fucking download that I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Now, for you single ladies who have vibrators and you have roommates... Now, I want you guys to know, you may not realize that one of your roommates could have a secret, hardcore crush on you. And even though you lock your door, they could still come into your room. Whether it be through the window, or they figured out how to open your door, or they have your key because of your animal, whatever. Now... I want you to wash your vibrator, one, or two, get rid of it, or three, find a new hiding place, or four, just don't do it, because I feel like this person is going into your room and using your device, and not just that. This is going to be fucking gross, but they would lick it so they can get your energy because they were never going to be able to sleep with you because you've rejected them or you don't want to them. You don't want them. You don't want to be with them. It was something you would never even contemplate. It never came to you because maybe you were roommates, you were friends, or you were just whatever, right? Just whatever. But this person goes into your room and does cochinadas with it so please that was a download that i got that i was like oh my god what so wash it clean it get rid of it buy another one find a new hiding spot or just don't do it because i have been hearing celibate for a while now so maybe that's what you need to do because if it is tainted and you don't know get rid of it just get rid of it that's 
my opinion you don't have to take it but if if you're with roommates and there's something suspicious about them but you don't know what it is but you've been picking up on a weird feeling or you've been having like these really weird itches illnesses uh, scratching itchy gross like that mm -hmm. trust that energy mm -hmm. because we have the seven of pentacles here oh my god seven of pentacles and the seven of cups bro bro yeah no this is definitely a water sign pisces cancer scorpio pisces cancer scorpio and pisces is really ringing but cancer scorpio this person might have tattoos on their arm might have short hair dark seems very dark and twisted too Because they're in the darkness, they're in the shadow, and they don't want to they don't want to come out of it. I've got eight and two. They're not true believers of the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't believe. So they might be an opposite um religion, faith, background. They, they, they might make fun of you about your horoscopes or you know, your religion, your faith, your spirituality. They might make fun of you. Because this is 77. This is a spiritual battle. This is a spiritual battle. Mm, mm, mm. Where do you want this? Seven of Cups. Reflect and release. Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Reflect and release. Where does this High Priestess and the Fool and the Sun card go? Reclaim your truth. Reclaim who you are. Speak the truth and connect to the heart. That's when you're going to get your vitality back. Who's this Queen of Pentacles? I'm sorry, this Queen of Cups in the reverse. This is Surrender, the death card, the death spells that have been sent to you. Sending you magic spells. Three of Wands in the upright. Choose yourself, choose your life, choose your creativity and move on, move out. I've already got three threes on the table. Three, three, three. This is, this is from the Ascended Masters. They're telling you, time's up. You know this. You know this. Your third eye is on fire. It's ringing. It's like ding, 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 ding. hit, 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 after hit, after hit, after hit. You're like, oh my god, what in the fuck? Yes, you know. You know this. But for some reason or other, they were throwing you a none of your business spell, a confusion spell, a fuck around and find out spell, a whatever. Whatever they can think of, whatever comes to mind, whatever you think, or whatever, how they were saying it to you, that's what it is. That's the alchemist. Wheel of Fortune in the upright. It all comes down to money. It all comes down to your fortune, to your fame, to the ability that you have to turn the wheel around, turn the tables around, turn your energy around, to be get up and walk away, to walk out and be like, I'm done. These people, they don't know how to do that. And they probably have conversations or... or connections with every single person they've ever had sex with to keep them holding on keep holding on to me like gripping like gripping hard yeah so that they can always play games with you oh we're just kidding calm down it's not it's not that big of a deal they're always joking around it's always a, a joke or a, it's a fight it's just a debate no it's a fight because they want to see where your boundaries are they want to see how much they can push you around Wow, dude. Wow. Where do you want this? Wheel of Fortune. This is where your creative is. Where's the devil card? With the Queen of Cups. She's doing demonic energy magic. Or she's a Satanist. Like I said, she's a different religion. She's a Satanist. She's a cult Satanist. Uh, There's your confirmation burp. It's time to go. It's time to get out of here. Time to go. Where do we go? Out of none of your business. Be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone, be out. There's somebody waiting for you. There is a love that's true that reciprocates the same as you. Where? And the Explorer card. This Ten of Pentacles. 
I heard Ten of Pentacles. I said Ten of Pentacles, but I meant to say the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles. He's going to realize the truth when he finally meets you, sees you, when he sees you. That's it. That's it. Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Two of Wands, Two, Two, Two. Standing into the truth of you, being happy in your vortex, putting more happy into your life. So putting more happy into your life, Queen of Swords. I'm so happy, oh so happy, I am happy and joyous and me. It's a slow moving energy, but just get, just get happy. And speaking your truth, it doesn't have to be all cutthroat and, and vicious. It doesn't have to be cutthroat and vicious because this is what they were already going through with this fucking copycat bitch. So if you come in all viciously, he's going to think the same thing. So just be truthful. This is the Ace of Swords. Be truthful, my queen. And how you are. Because we are not obscene. No, no, no. We are standing of grace. We are the saving grace. We save people from the Nine of Swords. We show them what torments them at night and why they cannot sleep. Why? Because of all the little spells that you incantated. Incantated incantations. And they regret what they did, right? In that red dress. Of trying to take people's luck. Oh, this is that's a bed. Who did you sleep with? Who did you fuck? Or did you do what we actually said that you did of using people, other people's vibrators? What is the matter with you that is crossing the line so disrespectful? Disgusting. That is someone's private life. Their privacy. And you have violated their trust. And you want them to come and talk to you again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Because they put in that work. They put in that work to cause a fright. Maybe went to go see psychics of their own gifts to figure out how to get you in bed with them and, and figure out what to do and how to do it. How can I torture them? How can I torment them? The psychic was like, no, 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 don't mess with this one. You were, for, you were forewarned. Don't mess with this one. I wouldn't if I were you because this one's got some power that she may not know, but it's there. It comes out as a protection, as insignias. It's entrusted, it's engolden, it's encompassed. You can't touch this. Their victory, their, their, their victory, their abundance comes from what they have overcome. This psychic told you that. What do we just say? Whenever you use your creativity to, to heal yourself from any tra trauma, tra traumatic events that have happened to you, then that is, an, uh, that is a story of how you overcame certain things. Of tormented. Of those nights that you couldn't sleep. Of those people and those words that looped around on repeat. Yeah. Look at that. Seven and six. Seven and six. This is the Lord God coming through. Son, the Son of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, because right here, which what have how they have tortured you and why you couldn't sleep at night, this is how you overcame it. You overcame it. Ninety nine. You took judgment into your own hands, but you didn't fight them. You walked away. You got your power and moved on. You got that one wand and moved on and said, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to lose all these other wands, but I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to give up on my dream. I'm not going to give up on the fact that there is other good people out there that are just like me. Who want to help and heal humanity and not push them deeper down into the fucking dirt of the pits of hell. We don't want to be in isolation. We don't want to be in fucking torment of mental illness. No way, Jose. We snapped out of those illusions. 
of what people said about us. And said, oh, that's what you think about me? Cool. Good. Now that I know. Bye, Felicia. And we got creative with our wounding. That's the final third. But these people, they're not going to heal. They're in the reverse. They're always stuck in their torment, walking away, trying to find a new healing. The way you get to your healing is by walking away by certain kind of people, energies, people, places, and things. And that's the tower that you're going through right now. If this is your story. This is why the Ten of, Reper ten of Repursed. Ten of Repurposed. I don't know if someone's doing repurposed purses. Imitation counterfeit bags. Oh, you just got caught. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Spirit came through. Yeah, and you were doing this to certain people who loved you. Selling them like Gucci bags or, or something fake and counterfeit. And there was something about Audi. Something about that. Mm, mm, mm. This is why your real fortune is in the reverse. Because you went on a journey with somebody young and immature just like you. And they screwed you. They screwed you out of your own fortune. And it was a fight night. And you loved it. This was like passionate. Passionate new beginnings in that throuple, right? But you kind of gave away your life energy when you did it. And this has left you high and dry. Wanting more. Right? You could have walked away from a king of cups. If you were the queen of cups. Okay. I feel that that's the end. This is the end. Let it be the end. This is the end. Let it be the end. This is the end. Let it be the end. This is the end. Let it be the end. Oh. Okay. Now that this is the end and you know the truth because we have just reflected on it. Now is the time to release it and to reclaim your power. Mm, 57, 57 on the clock. Lord God. Lord King Sanala. What up? I'm going to pack this up and then I'm going to throw... A quick clean round to see what we need to do. Now that we know the disgustiness of what people can do. <clears throat> wow. Uh, it's no wonder why I have stopped using that. It's been a very long time. No more. I was reading a lot on guys and how when they masturbated and they had that energy juice just be depleted which is their creative energy of knowing how to you know heal yourself and i understand in the beginning but there was a lot of talk about guys who were being celibate and to hold it in to not you know always wanting to use sex as a means to make yourself feel better or to make yourself feel seen or to make yourself feel loved and so i thought that's a great idea and I did it too. And if you guys think out there that only guys are doing it, you best believe girls are doing it too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is why some people stay single because they're like, well, as long as it's me and my vibrator, I'm good. <laughs> believe me, don't believe me. We have had those conversations. Yes, us girls. It's true. But we don't really talk out loud about it. How do we end this? this deck in the back nature oh wait i saw it it was my wisdom cards where is my wisdom deck oh right here the wisdom of the oracle what are they called hold on was right all right wisdom of the oracle what do we need to know 
what is the healing? Thank you. To be fair, but it fell on the sideways. Something needs to be fair. Number 38. There needs to be balance and to be fair. It needs to be fair. This is what you need to reclaim. Okay? It needs to be fair and just. And no longer in a mask. No longer breaking up other people's fortune cookies. Because that wisdom is for them. Your intuition is to be fair. Just be fair. Just be honest. Just be truthful. Okay? As you explore your heart and you surrender to the Lord God, confess, repent, you will establish a community of people that will help you to see that they are there. Right? The Noah's Ark. They are there for you. Great. That's 8 on 38. That's the path of 8. Thank you. As you speak the truth, make sure you're speaking very peacefully. Very peacefully. Because like I said, this person might be already like ugly, tormented and, and coming at this people, King of Pentacles or anybody very harsh, very um, hateful, very just not you. So make sure you're being very peaceful as you speak the truth. Very gentle. Connect to your heart when you speak like this. Realize that everybody's wounding is different, but if it was you, how would you want to deliver the news? Just like I'm doing it right now. Next. As we surrender and explore our heart, this is number 43. This is a very deep knowing of who you are. Use Labradorite at this time to see the magic within yourself. This is the moon. This is your feminine side. She needs a lot of attention. She needs, this is the in-between, number three, the line of three. This is how you connect to your heart. It's the heartbeat. 43, 23, and number three. Yeah. Oh, and then eight and three and 38. Mm. Next. Oi. Lighten it up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's this one? When you explore, explore both worlds of yourself. The dark one and the light one. The feminine is the dark side, which is the yin. And the light side is your masculine side, which is the yang, how you project yourself. Explore the deep knowing of both of you. How you explore that is looking at your mom and your dad. Mm -hmm. Looking at your mom and your dad. What type of mother is your mom? What type of father was your father? That is a deep knowing of to be fair and be balanced in both of those energies. So your dad and your mom within you, this is your intuition. This is your gut senses, your gut instincts. These two need to be balanced within you. So if you're having a fight with your mom or you're having a fight with your dad, this could be why the inconsistency is within you. Okay? So when you're being fair and reclaiming your power, they want you to get creative. And the Divine Mother is asking you why. Why get creative? We want to know your story on how you overcame certain things. The world needs to know your story. Whether you do that in sewing, in crafts, in painting, in writing, in creating uh, songs, games, whatever it might be. Because here is how you're going to find your soulmate. Your soulmates. Numbers is 31 and 41. That's on the path of one. This is tapping into yourself. Being the leader. Heed my call and how you create. This is also a reflection of you. What you put out into the world is going to come and find you. That's the key. Mm, mm, mm. That's how you co-create. That's how you co-create. With spirit. Number 40. Anything with zeros, that's God telling you. 
that's God. And I did see 8008 and 000. So this is a new cycle. This is a new beginning. That's way too much. Thank you. The new beginning of speaking into your truth of being peaceful. You're going to start to see all the glitters. Now, the glitters are the fake ones that wear a mask. So it's time to put this mask down because it's not helping you. It's hindering you. From people seeing the truth of who you are. The truth, spirit. Wonderful, beautiful. You're not an orphan and you're not out to see. They want you to be seen, but you're not an orphan. And if you are experiencing this, you're, this is how you tap in to find your people. Mwah! So know that God loves you. Know that you are never alone and never abandoned, for God is always with you. No matter what you're going through in this moment, in this time, God has your back. The angels have your sides, and the ancestors have your front. You best believe that's the truth. Truth be told. So start speaking that truth, knowing who you are, to jump out of that cage and be free from your mind, from your heart, from the mask that you wear. To be able to speak freely. Hmm? We got 1441 on the field. Here's a unity. As always, my great family, find the love. Oh, look. Oh, when you let down your mask, a message in the bottle will appear. Number 15. This could be from a water sign. A message in the bottle will appear. Truth be told, here comes your happy, happy. Mwah! Adiós con mucho amor, como siempre, porque somos de lo mismo.